my videos and I lost that footage somewhere. I got some. Uh, I just want to let you know that I enjoy all your videos. Well, thank uh, you. Thank you. Sure wish I could have got out there to meet you, but I got to work. So. <laughs> oh, I understand. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back to work just so I can get some rest. <laughs> Are you going to go uh, I don't know. Um, I put a call in to him a while back. I haven't heard from him, but uh, I don't know exactly where he's at. But... He's not doing too good. Yeah. Uh, so... Yeah. Do you know what town he's in? Yeah, Springfield. I have his address and everything if you need it. Yeah, he might shoot that to R. Peak. And, uh... That's Springfield, Indiana, right? Huh? Springfield, Indiana? Arkansas. Arkansas, yeah, okay. No, he's in Arkansas. Arkansas. I knew he was in Arkansas. Just north of Little Rock. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be going by there. Uh, yeah, I talked to him yesterday. Well, I messaged with him yesterday a little bit, and uh, he said he was going to be there Friday and Saturday. Yeah, yeah. He's bad, he's bad shape. He asked me to come up there and put him out of his misery. I said, no, I'm going to come up here straight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to give you back to Mr. Peak here. I'm going to mess with this old Chevy a little bit. All right. Well, thank you, sir. We appreciate you. See you, buddy. You too. Come see us sometime. I will. Until they get a break from down here. Okay. All right, buddy. Bye. Pull him back his thing up a little bit so I can I think, do it. First, I think you'd want to do that. First thing I want to do is put a dipstick in. I need, I want to check my oil. Well, that, sure. that chrome one's out there on the shelf, and the, well, the, the original one is down yonder in the other garage, but uh, the easiest I, one to reach is yeah, this one. Yeah, I know. I hate that I lost the original old heavy duty. Well, the one down thing. there is, is one of those, so you can you can kind have of, it. Yeah, but, it's kind of like the one I had. But, but, if you wanna, but, but I just want to measure the oil. I don't care about yeah. what color it is. Transmission wine. Get your hood up. Now that other one down there might have came out of a 327, so if you want me to run and get it, I can. It's easier than using that one. As long as this one's the right length. You think it is? Can't guarantee it, but I'm... I know it came out of a small block Chevy, but I can't guarantee much else than that. Well, she don't see, use no. It don't fit down over the. She don't use no oil, does she? Well, it didn't. It uh, after I got eighteen hundred miles on it, I had to put a, less than a quart in it, but it. Uh, when the oil was clean, it didn't use any. Once it started getting dirty, a little bit dirty, then I had to put a little bit in it. But I changed the oil. Boy, that shock seems to be tight. It bounces. I hear it. I hear it. I hear the thread scraping right there. Now I hear the thread scraping on the hole right here. That hole's back here. It's tight. Back here. I can't 
It's a swishing noise. It sounds like a... I'm going to pull it back in just a little bit so yeah. I can get a floor jack in it. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what? I'll go down and get that other, that other dipstick. All right. I've got the floor jack in the back. What you got? I got two sitting right in there. If we can see anything. Yeah, I guess so. Whew. Yeah, I guess. Um can't remember what size they are. They're either three quarters or seven eighths or uh, see fat fits. Yes it does. So Sounds like a shop door. I'm jack it up and you watch All it. Right. Shop's broke. Okay. Brand new. Brand spanking new. And I left my other brand new one that's uh, Mr. Heavy Chevy's. Well, you want to pop it off and we'll go get one? Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get one. Uh, I need a half inch. I need a half inch on the bottom. Detail. Yeah. 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 
half inch socket on the bottom. And the top looks like it might be a nine. I can't tell for sure. You want you, you Mr. Bond? No. <laughs> I'm just going to talk about this for a second here. We, uh, I, uh, was down at Myrtle Beach, got ready to leave, and I pulled over kind of a bumpy spot, and I felt, I heard this thing popping, something popping underneath there. And I couldn't see it. I just bounced on it, and it bounced pretty bad, and it popped, and got it in here, and, uh, and Mr. Peak started investigating it and got it all jacked up sitting on jacks here and I got it underneath here while he put he put a floor jack under that lower control arm and started jacking it up and discovered that it's got a broken shock and we just put them on at Mr. Heavy Chevy's brand spanking new and one of them broke and that's all there is to it. So we're gonna go get another one. That's 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 the end That's how that story ends. No keep the camera running. Yeah I'm about to pull out no, you ain't gonna pull it out till I take it loose on. Oh yeah, you are. It's broke completely. That bolt's broke off. Look at that. Well, that would make it make a noise. I can see how that would create I'm guessing a racket. You don't even have to loosen the top one. Just reach in there and pull it out. <laughs> no, I got it clamped down. Really? I had it clamped real <laughs> good. What is that? I never seen one break like that. Is it broke or is it made that way? Is it a, something that was like fit down in there? I don't know, get some light on it. No, it just come apart. Huh. And it looks rounded off like it's uh, you know, that's no, made that, broke. That's okay. made that way. It ain't broke. That bolt ain't broke. That's made that what way. What the heck? But this is popped out of something, whatever. Ain't that odd? Yeah. Well, who would make something like that? Well, that's a revolting development, ain't it? Yeah. All right. I'm Can you get a wrench to up in the I'll top? I'll taking it apart. Can you get a wrench up in there? Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, and you hold it, you can hold it on top. I just need a 9 to open it, I believe. I have never seen one come apart. I need that, I need that wrench. Oh. No, maybe not. Oh. I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. didn't mean to. Forgive me, Lord. You get a free pass here at my house. God's got so used to forgiving me for my wrongs that He just puts God. blanket coverage, just like it's just like, like insurance. An insurance. It's like insurance policy, it's, ain't it? It's just insurance policy it covers the whole property here, so yeah. yeah. You're good. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna take advantage of that, but I'm gonna try not to abuse it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Well, I've got it so far backed off that I can't hold on to the top anymore. I don't think I can get underneath there and get a hold of it. There we go. Oh, I'm cooking with gas now. I dropped the bolt right down here. So there's a piece up under there, huh? Yeah, it's stuck up in there. It didn't fall out. Do we need a little punch to punch that out? Yeah, I need to get underneath there and wiggle it out somehow, I think. Huh? I think I need to get underneath and wiggle it out somehow. So you can't take the punch and punch the top of that out? Uh, it seems like it's sitting on something. Let me look at it. Let me put an eyeball on it. You need a flashlight? Yep, I need a flashlight. You can get you one. I got one out there in my camper. I'll get you one. Broken shot. Huh. Well, I'm glad it wasn't nothing worse than that. You know, I felt like I had put that front end together pretty good, you know. Felt real good about it. Oh, I see what's going on. Yeah, go ahead and punch it. Punch it? Yeah, punch it. Bring me a, can you bring me a long screwdriver while you're at it? And I'll hold it over the hole. How long? Long as you got. Because uh, if we don't, it's going to fall down in the wrong place. Uh, 
I've never seen one put together like that. <laughs> who would uh, who would engineer something like that? You might want to call uh, Chevaholic and ask him to send you your old shocks back. Or whoever's got them. A lot of them guys, they, they grind their welds down make them real shiny, and I don't do that. Yeah. I just leave them ugly and... Well. You, you know, it's, it's, you know how in in writing they say, uh, "Don't show us your work, tell us your story," or something like that. This is like that. You know, you don't, you don't want to, you want the welds, the welds tell the story. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, yeah. Where's that flashlight right there? Cause I'm gonna poke that back in there, put it back together. I'm gonna go grab a different battery. I'll be right back. All right. Gave me a faulty flashlight. Banging up against something. Oh. Oh, because I can't see the hole. Oh, there I see it. I'm just waiting for, waiting for the shock to get long enough to go up in it. How am I doing up there? Hang on a second. Here. If you need. And then, oh yeah, you're in there. Let me, uh, where's the nut that came off? Um, right here. Well, I'm just going to put it right back on. Sounds good. You don't mind, do you? No, that's, been, that's, that's what I do. No corn blanks about that? No. Better rip, tater chip. Alrighty, daddy. Hmm, that ain't going to start. Let me switch, switch bolts and see if it'll go better. Did it get started? It's in there. Well, I mean, I say it's in there. I haven't tightened it down yet. I can. But I figured I'd let you get your end going first. Yeah. About there. Yeah. Yes, sir. <coughs> Is that little rattle gun up there? Yeah. Still got a socket in it. Chevy with a car buddy, you know. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy it. Here I was kicking myself for bringing these old jack stands, you know. I look at it coming in. Well, I got plenty of them, but we'd have had to walk down to the other bar, and it makes a lot more sense to haul them. 8,000 miles and it does to walk down to the barn, really.
I don't mind taking advice as long as it's good advice. I got a rattle gun all set up with the socket on it. There you go. Ready to go. I was prepared, boy. And I don't mind taking advice as long as it's good advice. <laughs> I get a lot of bad advice on I YouTube. Know you do. <laughs>